Good, so hopefully that you can hear me. Today's Wednesday Wisdom is the best project you can work on is you. And what appealed to me about sharing that golden nugget was there's so many um, different pieces to marketing at the moment. It's busier than it's ever been as far as updates are concerned. And the propensity is to think there's a new bright, shiny object and let me go and look at that. And I'm, you know, the first one to admit that I'm that kind of person. I mean, here I am on Ecamm. Why did I buy Ecamm? I could just go live in the group. But it's a new shiny toy and it's only 30 bucks. And when I get a minute, I'll find out what it does. So if I'm anything like you guys, you might be finding um, that there's so many things that you could be doing um, that you end up doing busy work and getting sidetracked and thinking, there goes another day. And... Am I that much further forward? I don't know that I really am. Or there's such um, a plethora of things that you could be doing uh, that you just think, yeah, I'll get around to that tomorrow and I'll keep doing what I'm always doing and I'll be a bit shocked that I keep getting what I've always gotten because I haven't changed anything. So let's discuss. So the main piece about the best project you can work on is you, is you will be different from the pages that you follow from other people in your industry or your niche, as we like to say, in Facebook world, in Internet world. Um, and that may not necessarily work for you. I mean, obviously me, I give out um, social media advice to oldies and newbies especially around the storytelling apps the idea of going live or the idea of um, sharing videos and so on and so forth so there's plenty of people that do that that have more underwear than me and you know better makeup than me and you know flawless skin and all the rest of it and I can't be them I'm me you know the children nicknamed me Donald Mump because my hair grew so long I started to look like a Donald Mump well yeah <laughs> that's about right that's who I am so who are you who could you be that doesn't take a lot of effort that doesn't take you know what I want it's my birthday in July and what do I want for my birthday I want a soft box light that goes over my big mac and fries see I've just got a lamp at the moment it's just it's not good enough what it really needs to be is like daylight that I'm looking into now but is that going to stop me is it bollocks you know you guys understand that it's just us giving it a punt and doing the best we can with what we've got at the moment that's what I want to encourage you to do on this Wednesday is to do what you can with what you've got so that's a very oversimplified thing isn't it so how do you actually do that least so something that we used to do when I ran um, networking in St Albans I had a uh, St Albans group called Mums Unlimited there was lots of them but I ran the St Albans one and what we used to say to people at the start of every year or the end of every year is we would say look so many new people have joined throughout the year let's do a skills audit and so it was just like a little simple form that I used to give out to everyone and see where their knowledge gaps were. So even if we had talked about different different aspects of social media throughout, throughout the year, if people still felt that was the main thing that was holding them back, then we'd put it on the agenda to talk about for the following few months. Or if people felt bookkeeping was always something that they just thought, well, la, 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 not listening, you know. So what I would suggest for my butterflies and anybody who's watching this after the event is to take a skills audit and think, what is it that I think, oh, Jesus, I think that's just like my ironing pile on my homework on a Sunday evening, as you've heard me say before. What is it something that's always at the bottom of your to-do list? It's a big, fat, hairy deal that you just don't want to. And what's the stuff that you find easy to do? You know, I'm quite happy to chat away to myself and not be interrupted and ramble away to a live video camera. But that's, you know, I've got a VA and that's her idea of hell. She would hate to go live. Um, so that's why what I've said is take a skills audit, identify your knowledge gaps, stuff that you... Um, it's either that you don't know or even if you did know, you wouldn't care. It's just not your cup of tea. And then you can either learn it or you can outsource it and then you can partner with 
or skill share with somebody who's your opposite. So depending on where you are in business, it may be something where you work within a team and you can say, look, I'm brilliant at doing this and I find it easy as falling off a log. But that the, just the sheer prospect of that um, brings the pains on. You know, I just can't face it. Um, and then you can stay in your lane, consistently do what it is that you're good at. You know that the other half, the other three quarters, the other... <laughs> 90% in my case um, is being handled and it, make, it gets rid of some of that overwhelm it gets rid of some of that feeling of oh it's all getting away from me if you know what it is that you're good at and you stay in your lane then you feel productive and the more productive and oh well that wasn't so bad I did that um, the more you get some you know this is going into the land of you know woo woo and self-esteem but you know it's all when you work for yourself or in a small team, it's a huge piece, isn't it, um, mindset? So once you start to um, create a few things and nail a few things and, what do they say, crush it <laughs> in a few areas, you can't help but think, well, you know, I mastered that, that wasn't so bad, let me try this next thing. And it's a self-fulfilling cycle. The, better, the more you do... The more momentum you get, the more inertia you've got through moving forward and the more stuff you tackle. So that's my Wednesday wisdom tip. Um, please leave some comments and tell me, you know, where it is that you think um, your biggest stumbling block is. I mean, as I say, I've identified mine and that's why I've got Siobhan and that's why, you know, it takes her 10, 15 minutes. You know, I, I buy a block of hours <clears throat> and she's got like a little timer that she says that took six minutes, that took 72 minutes, you know, and it ticks down and I can just see things getting done that I know I would, you know, like at the moment I've got sign-ups on my um, website for, you know, get this freebie or get that freebie, and if you haven't, please do. One of them is kind of what I'm talking about with the skills audit. It's called Boost Your Marketing um, checklist or something like that I can't remember what I called it now but basically you answer all the questions nothing difficult and if you don't know the answer then don't fill it in and I put my answers at the back so if any of it is well, what do you mean by that you can just flick to the back and say oh right that's what Lisa said about straight talk um, and it gives you an idea of what it is you've thought about what it is that you hadn't even considered what it is that you think oh yeah you know I'm pretty good at that and all those other things. What's going over? Small white plane. Hello, we're live in Devon. There's a small live plane going over. Um, or the other one, which, you know, when I asked you guys what it was it that you found the biggest, scariest thing, you said Facebook ads. And so the other thing on my lisanichols.co.uk forward slash free stuff um, or just go to lisanichols.co.uk and you'll see on the home screen free stuff. Um, so there's the, the marketing checklist where you can sort of download out of your mind and onto a piece of paper where you're crushing it and where you might need a bit of help. And the other one is the Facebook guide. So even if you go onto Facebook for business, there's quite a lot of kind of text speak. You know, even if you look up how do I do this from Facebook itself, it doesn't make perfect sense so I've done a straight talk guide on this is what Facebook says that's what they mean still don't make any sense fine click here and it will lead you to an unlisted I've got some videos on YouTube that are unlisted that are just for my gang um, and it will lead you to an unlisted video where you look over my shoulder and you see what I click so hopefully those two things um, will help you from what my Wednesday wisdom is today oh it's already 10 minutes so I try not to make it longer than 10 minutes unless there's any questions. So if anybody's got any questions, please either leave them here live or leave them under this um, after the fact when you've watched it. And tell me, my community, what is it that's holding you back? What's, on, what's that big fat hairy thing on your list? And I'll either come up with a, a freebie that can help you or you can, let's see if I can do this screen sharing thing so look there's um free stuff oh good grief how long is this going to take this 
So there's your boost, boost your marketing. That's it. Boost your marketing checklist is there. And the beginner's guide to Facebook ads is there. So that's where the Ecamm recording cut out. What I was saying was boost your marketing checklist so you can get the free stuff at least in nichols.co.uk. Don't forget, we've also got a free group, groups forward slash social butterflies gang. You can always ask to come and join us over there where there's no such thing as a silly question and it's more of a skills sharing kind of idea. If I don't know, normally one of our butterflies does. Um, there's quite a lot of videos and how-tos on the uh, Facebook page, Straight Talk Social Media. And all the how-tos and old over the shoulders that I do are on my channel at YouTube, Lisa Nichols UK. So, that's enough from me for today. Audit what it is you're good at. Audit where you need some help. Go find it. Or, if it really doesn't speak to you, outsource it. So, that's my Wednesday wisdom for today. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Love ya. Miss ya. Speak to you next time. Bye-bye now.